Merit Grant. I'm a two-time regional and one-time national JA Titan champion. Today, in this video, we're going to be going over the basics of gameplay in the JA Titan Challenge. The Junior Achievement Titan Challenge is the ultimate CEO virtual simulation. Students must surround a manufacturing company and master six key business decisions, which are price of product, production levels, marketing expenses, research and developmental costs, as well as capital investment level and charitable giving. Pricing is the most critical part of the simulation, and it's going to be the first principle that we learn about the JA Titan Challenge today. Let's go for about $74. Uh, with unit price, however, uh, what you would want to know is that the lowest price is $12 and the maximum price is $99. $74 seems nice, so let's do that. The next principles are unit production, capacity, and utilization. Students must decide on how many units they would like to produce and put on the market for every quarter. And this is called unit production. So what you're going to want to know about unit production is that when your utilization is 80%, your cost per unit is at lowest. So if I were to decrease it, you see your cost per unit increase. If I were to increase it above 420, it would also be the same amount of increased uh, cost per unit. So 420 is perfect where it's at. Marketing and marketing detail. Marketing is the most important in every scenario because it increases the demand of your product. There are four different types of marketing available in the game, all requiring a different amount of money budgeted for them to be utilized. The more you invest in marketing, the greater it will have on the demand of your product. Um, what's important with marketing, though, when you, uh, when you make a decision is to uh, go to your decision detail right here, and you're going to want to pick uh, the highest that you can with uh, your minimum budget required. So I did 6,000, so we can do halogen ads right here. A very essential decision that you're going to have to make every quarter is deciding whether or not to invest in research and development. And investing in research and development makes your product unique from other products in the same market. Um, capital investment. This is pretty important. Um, I think uh, in the beginning of the game you should probably invest a pretty large amount of money into capital investment because it, uh, it brings your cost per unit right here down and uh, you'll notice that in the next quarter. Charitable giving is another form of marketing that students can invest in. Investments in charitable giving improve the company's institutional image. The more a student invests in charitable giving, the more loyal the customers will remain to their product, even though there may be another company producing the same product or better at a lower price, which can be beneficial in all scenarios. There we go. Um, what you're going to want to know is that uh, your credit line right here is about 50000 um Basically, the amount of resources that you have to spend is based on your available cash plus your credit line. So we have about 61000 to spend, and it looks like our expenses are about 41000 so we should be good not to exceed our credit line or anything like that. All right, and so let's submit our first quarter decision. Once students submit a business plan for each quarter, students will receive messages with advice and clues via the virtual instant messenger from their staff. All right, so here's our results here. Um, on the video instant messenger, uh, you're going to always want to look at the uh, balance price and production, and it'll do this for every quarter that you submit a decision for. So it says our orders have run higher than production. That means that we've had uh, unfilled orders, orders that we can't meet the demand for. And so um, it would probably mean that we would need to start producing more, which is going to be pretty easy for us because we invested a lot into capital investment, fortunately. Success in the Titan Challenge is measured by Performance Index, or PI, which is an evaluation of each fictional company's performance based on the following retained earnings, supply and demand potential, productivity, market share, and growth. 
Right now it's at 141. Uh, when all teams start out, it begins at 100. And so um, PI is based 50% by uh, retained earnings, which can be shown on our industry overview, which is right here at reports, and then industry, and this is our overview. What you can see is that our retained earnings is um, a lot higher than all of our opponents by about uh, 30%. 20% of uh, your PI is also based on supply and demand potential. This means orders matching production within 5%, minimizing the amount of inventory and unfilled orders. You can analyze your supply and demand potential by looking at your units in inventory under the company tab in uh, production right here. And so what you can see about our inventory is that we have no inventory. And uh, like it said in the beginning, we had uh, too many orders uh, we had a lot of unfilled orders that we couldn't meet the demand for, so we sold all of what we produced last quarter. Next, you're going to want to look at the marketing tab, and you're going to look at exactly how many unfilled orders you have. Said that we have about 138. And so, basically, that just means that um, we're going to have to incre increase our production, which I did in the beginning. And also, what's interesting that it shows here is your margin per unit sold. So your margin per unit sold is basically when you take all the costs, your total cost per unit sold, so all of your investments and your production costs, it equates to be about $57.39. And then uh, you subtract that from our sales price, which is $74, and you get our $16.61 per unit. That, is our, that goes towards our net profit. So uh, the next 10% of PI is based on productivity. Uh, this one's a fairly easy one to uh, analyze. Basically, you just have to go to industry reports right here, go to productivity, and you'll see all these percentages near these five categories. Essentially, what you want to see is basically a positive percentage or zero um, for each of these. All right, and so after looking at all this, um, you're going to also want to look at your under industry overview. Just look at your competition. Doing very well with their company and um, Essentially what we want to like, look forward to next quarter is uh, making sure to get our, uh, our sales to match, um, match our production, uh, the orders to match production. So we've increased our orders. Um, so last quarter at 74 price, um, we had about 138 uh, unfilled orders. So we're increasing our production by about 155. And so maybe we can go about another dollar down and we'll be okay. Um, marketing, I think marketing's doing okay at 6,000. Uh, we don't have any more need for demand. We have an excess demand, if anything, but we're gonna keep it at 6,000 just because we increased our production up to kind of keep that a constant right there. Uh, research and development, um, what we're gonna see here is uh, we need to pick another feature. Uh, so let's just go ahead and pick a wafer thin case right here to research, and then capital investment I think is doing good. In fact, I'm gonna increase capital investment because we have more available cash here. Um, and then charitable giving, always 9,999. So here's our second plan. During gameplay, players attempt to achieve the highest performance index possible. When the game ends, the player with the highest performance index wins. There you have it. These are the fundamentals of the JA Titan Challenge. For more tips, please check out our strategies video. Good luck.